coming up for the headers. I know it's definitely not your first, but this one, what do you think makes it stand out? Well, you know, I think they have a dream this time. They have a theme, and they're talking about dreams this time, and that's really what it's all about because we all, we all dream to be something in life. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Everybody's trying to push something different, and uh, the headies is just here making people's dreams come to pass, you know, because you might see it as these artists coming on stage and getting awarded for something that they do the most, but then there are people watching these people, so you're inspiring other people out there to dream bigger, and that could be them on the stage right there receiving that award at their time. So the headies is doing something that I believe if every industry is doing this and keeping this same mindset and authenticity, we will have a lot of sectors doing well. I feel great, you know, most importantly, I got my woman beside me, so, you know, let her say everything. My I'll woman, yeah, yeah, my everything. That's right. Lisa, <laughs> how do you do? I know. Hi, you I'm such good. a lovely boy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Very well, and yes, the head is, it's here. It's the dream of yeah. so many people. How does it feel coming out? I mean, it's my first time, so I am super, super excited. I can't wait to see everybody. I'm rooting for everyone. Uh -huh. Skills. Oh, I didn't realize it's any other bad moss TV. Uh, that's my homie. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Skills. And I got Neza and... Uh so I've taken over on your Bad Moss TV. We're at Hedy's. We're having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. My woman, November 1st. And I got a lot of singles. OK Entertainment. Stay tuned. Color Tunes Entertainment. Let's go. Yes, but the album that I produced before I was going to nominate for album of the year and rap album of the year. So yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. I mean, you put so much work into that, so you should be happy. I did. I am happy. I am happy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you look so gorgeous, all flowery, like a sunflower. <laughs> Thank you. Too, all right. So yeah, you're written for tonight. Um, every single person, but I'm here to support my brother Files. Yeah. I'm hoping we win. That's why I'm here, man. Support Thank you so much for talking to us. What's up, world? Is this your favorite artist? And I'm chilling right here on Eniela Badmos TV. That's where red carpet happens, and that's where the show happens. So see you guys soon. Stay tuned and keep it locked. Peace out. I've been encouraged with this award year and year to improve on their skills, their trade, their craft. And then uh, people are winning. And they are, you know, um, the organizers are improving by the year. I can tell from the, the outlook of tonight's uh, package that there's been a lot of improvement. You know, for an industry that's uh, constantly reworking itself without government support or intervention, I must give kudos to every entertainer in this country. Despite the hardship, despite the odds, People are going all out to keep entertaining a frustrated nation. Even when they are broke and they are hungry, they still keep coming to put smiles on people's faces. I don't think Americans or Britons can do that. But Nigerians keep doing that. Some people get abused, disrespected, but they still keep going. Either as an actor, as a comedian, as a musician, they get backlash on social media, but they still keep going. In other climes, some people would have given up, they would have committed suicide, or, you know, but Nigerians keep going. So I, I like that um, our entertainers are carrying the burden of the nation on themselves. That's a deep way to look at it. It's fact. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this right now, you're watching Eniola Badmos Television. Now we get on our TV. EBTV. Awalani, Tiwani. Everything's pluffic. Money on my for what conclusions here? And all time favorites. You're stepping out for the edits tonight. Sorry, following the crazy experience at the Big Brother Nigeria. How do you feel? I feel overwhelmed. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's been an experience. Yeah, so the love has been good. The, the, the other end of the spectrum, too, has, has also been very entertaining. So, you know, yeah, I, I feel good. You feel good. Ba -na 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 -na. Knew that I would know. <laughs> Ellison, I'm you're such a vibe. And one thing most people do not know is that you've been in the game for so long as a creative. Looking at the Nigerian music industry, what would you say is the biggest thing right now? The biggest thing right now? The artist? The biggest act? I don't know. No, not the act now. I mean, what would you say is working for the Nigerian music industry right now? Oh, okay. I think that Nigerian artists are very, 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 very hardworking. And I, I, I th they also put themselves in their music and they explore. So they, they can actually create a very unique sound. So each artist, if you look at David O, Wizkid, Olamide, Joe Boy, all these guys, they have 
a very unique sound. They have their individual sounds that sets them apart from, from the rest. So I think they're very hardworking. And that's why they can create music like this. Yeah. So they explore different things. They add different things to their music. And it's, and it's fantastic. And I, I love the music. So who are you written for tonight? Joe Boy. I'm beginning to, beginning to fall in love. Hey, yeah, Joe Boy. <laughs> All right, hello, thank you so much for talking to us. This is Illusionam, and you're watching Inyola Badmos TV. Stay tuned. So a lot of people are out here for the edits, and yes, guess who is not missing out on it? Abike Domina. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm good. Good to have you step out tonight. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. This is actually my first time coming for edits. Yeah. And you're like all up in your... <laughs> yeah, I know. This is my first time. I'm actually like... All the years, like last year, I was like, but this year I was just like, oh, it was even like a last minute thing, like I didn't plan it. <laughs> okay, let's talk about those people you're written for tonight. Who are you looking forward to having scream out, yes? <laughs> Everyone is like, everybody is amazing. Like, I, I, I do have my own special people, but I, I can't, it would be selfish of me to say that this is this person I'm written for, you know. Everybody's, I, I, this year has been really really amazing and super fantastic you know everybody has been working really super hard so well i feel good i feel i feel very very is good. this your first time yes it is hey, it should be all like oh my god it's my first time it is it is it is well uh, i mean i'm seeing some of my people that i'm fans of i mean i've not yet i've not started screaming but i live like, oh my god I'm, I'm hopefully I don't drop on anybody, but well, let's see how it goes. Amazing. Uh, do you feel pressured after Big Brother Nigeria? I'll be honest, yes. I'll be honest. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get used to social media real quick, so that's one thing. But I'm sure I'll catch up just for my family. Definitely. I mean, uh, that's, that's the main thing for me, though. Right. Yeah. But let's talk about the music, right? It's the okay. biggest music award in Nigeria yeah. today. And then the music industry in Nigeria on the ni has grown a lot. Yeah. But how would you describe it if you were to? The Nigerian music is fantastic. The Nigerian music is one of a kind. I mean, it's, it's doing big things everywhere. And Nigerian music kept us staying in the house throughout the 99 days. And it's steady promoting Nigerians around the world and the things we can do on our arts. So fantastic. I mean, it's one of a kind. The Nigerian music industry is beautiful. Who are you rooting for tonight? All of the above. Don't give me that kind of thing. Uh, okay, what category are you looking forward to? All of them. I'm, I'm here to listen to good music. Yeah. I'm not going to have my Shazam working. So once I hear a song, I just sharply <laughs> click so I can go and download and re-listen to because, I mean, I've been out for a while and I need to get some new music into my system. So that's what I'm here for. Tonight it's about music. That's right. How would you rate the Nigerian music industry at this time? Superlatively, superlative, up above the above the mark. <laughs> we have come to be. We don't need to apologize to anybody. No one can take it from us. We are only going to get better. Absolutely. All right. So who are you rooting for tonight? Everyone, let the best win, and the rest of us will fall behind the best. <laughs> but um, coming out this year. I mean, for the past two years, I've been watching from home. It's like I do the red carpet, I run home to watch because there's just this ambience. Like you're just eating your popcorn in the house. But being here tonight and I'll be on, you know, in there, uh, feels amazing. And being on the red carpet again, I haven't worked on the red carpet in like a year. So it feels really different. It's an experience for me right now. Like, okay, let me remind myself of, that. of those days I used to do red carpet hosting. So, yeah. But let's talk about the category which a lot of people have been, you know, ranting about the next rated. Who do you think is going to take this one? Honestly, everybody knows that I'm crazy about Fireboy. So, if I'm to peak, I would say Fireboy. But then again, I mean, I feel like Zlatan shouldn't be on that, you know, list because um, a lot of these artists came after Zlatan. So, I don't know. But, well, I'm rooting for Fireboy, but something tells me Zlatan will probably win. So... How are you doing tonight? Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm ready to have a good time. I'm present, presenting an award, so I'm kind of nervous. I hope I, I don't mess it up. So let's see. Um, I think the best African act. I think that's what I'm presenting. Yeah. So I trust you not to mess it up. Well, hopefully. And if I do, then you know, shit. <laughs> How does it feel being at the 13th edition of the Eddies? Um, Apart from the fact that you're presenting an award. It's actually like my first time here at the Eddies ever. So I'm actually. Pre it's it's pretty fun. I mean, I've never. Uh, this is a different crowd than what I'm used to. I'm always like in the film and acting space or the fashion space. So like, this is really interesting, um, and it's fun. I, I'm I'm having a good time. You know, why not? 
Okay, why not? And the final question, who are you rooting for the most to take an award home? I'm literally saying this answer to everybody. Everybody Nigerian and every, everybody black. So that's everyone. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniela Gray, live at the 2019 Headies. Keep watching Enola Badmas TV. Keep it locked. Eddie's has been for some time and um, uh, to me Eddie's has come to stay but still I mean I must say they're doing a great job like it's not easy I mean this is the 13th edition and they're still keeping up big shout out to the organizers I must say it's not easy in this country definitely and yes uh, before you saw the awesome list of those who won who were you specifically rooting for to win tonight? Well, I must say the truth. I was actually rooting for um, Tenny. Yes, I was actually rooting for Tenny. I was waiting. I mean, I couldn't see her. I can't wait to hear oh, Tenny won. I was actually rooting for Tenny. And um, also, I think I want to see Zlantan to win. He's been doing, yes, I want to see Zlantan to win. Hi, great people. It's still your girl, Eniola Badmos, aka Senator Badowski, aka Bobo Beach Girls, in the building. Well, we're outside, so outside the building. Well, guys, just keep watching Eniola Badmos TV, please, guys. Support the movement. Support it. Support it. It's your joy. I must say the truth. Keep watching Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube. You will love it. It's um, entertainment without bounds. We're trying. We're bringing fresh, new things, events, red carpet. We're literally everywhere. So guys, keep watching Any All About Nos TV. Any All About Nos say so. This is the man of the moment, and everyone is talking about him right now because Nigeria must be proud to have the biggest award in the music industry go down tonight, Mr. Ayo Anima Sharon. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? Very well, too. How do you feel? Um, missed feelings. Um, um, I should um, be getting feedback from you about the awards because you know, um, I still got more in my head. So how was it? It was really great and a lot of people had so much to say about the fact that it's grown over the years, 13 years down the line. You should be proud that you've been able to hold this down. Do you really feel the same way? Yeah, I feel the same way. But you know, the industry is so difficult and... Um, um, you keep doing it because you just want to do it, not just because you make money from it. And um, when um, the people you are doing it to reward, and some of them either don't turn up on time or they are in their room when their awards are being presented, you feel something is lost, you know. So yeah, Nigerian artists are no longer Nigerian artists now. They are African artists. They are international artists. They do shows around the world, and uh, it's very hard to have all of them under one roof. You know, at any time in, uh, of the year, it's, they're very busy, especially the headliners and everything. You know, but um, I'm so glad that people liked it. I'm so glad that people turned out. I'm so glad that the night went well. You know, all the, you know, past narratives of the Eddies, you know, have gone, they start late, blah, 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 blah. That, that all those ones, all those uh, narratives have stopped, you know, and uh, it's a new day. Uh, we are moving forward from here, and I hope to get, to get it right you know, and better, you know, this is, is grown, but it's just not there yet, you understand? Know All right, we're definitely expecting some more in 2020, and we trust you to bring it on, God helping you and the team. We trust that you'll bring it on better in 2020. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir. We wish you all the best. I hope that you get a very restful uh, days uh, in the coming days. Yeah, hello, everyone. This is your boy, Akbar Rero. They come out with too much swagger, too much anointing. You're watching, and you're bad most TV. Don't touch that, but we'll say so. God bless you.